judge the earth. If not, where and who is he? Yeah, so the earth's given to the hand of the wicked, man, Esau. Like, what you brought about the Federal Reserve. That's who controls, dude was right about that. You know, the Federal Reserve controls the United States, but actually it goes deeper than that, though. Because back in uh, 1776, when America was formed, it was created by Freemasons, who all met in secret in Free Freemason lodges. I mean, that's in the history books. They called themselves the Sons of Liberty. They were Freemasons. And if you look into it, Freemasonry is based upon the Kabbalah. Uh, that's what Albert Pike said. Albert Pike said Freemasonry is based on the Kabbalah, which is uh, Esau's witchcraft, so-called Jewish mysticism. Is what Freemasons, and they say the so-called Jews behind the Freemasons. That's why you go up in the temples, they got the six-point star and everything up there. It was all set up by the sun. Remember the first bird was supposed to be what, a turkey? It was supposed to be a turkey, but they ended up making it a uh, Oh, yeah, Benjamin Franklin wanted it to be a turkey. They, they wanted to use the eagle, though, because that goes back to the, because uh, represents, uh, Baal, represents Zeus, you know what I mean? Yeah, a horse. You see, all, all them ancient uh, false gods was always represented by a bird. Zeus, Jupiter, Horus. It's all the same shit. Baal Haddad. Yeah, because that's the devil. You know what I mean? That's the devil. And Esau exalt himself like an eagle. Go ahead. Another, that's why I say it comes up the faces of the judge. That's why that's why these people I get that Caesar sign. Oh yeah, yeah, that's another good example. Cover up the faces of the judge. They uh they made Yahweh Shah. They try to say this is Yahweh Shah. This don't look like Yahweh Shah. This don't even they give you a whole uh breakdown of what he looked like. This don't look nothing like that. No, nope. he, <laughs> he got he got the hair blank wrong, got the color wrong, he got everything wrong. Everything is wrong. Like, not one thing they got right. Not one thing. And they do it to the other uh, apostles too. Like, look what they did to St. Nicholas. St. Nicholas was not fat nor jolly. You know what I mean? They gave, made him a, a turn him into a white guy. that rode on reindeer. But he's from uh, Anatolia, which is like Turkey. You know what I mean? He's from uh, Asia Minor, where it's hot as hell all day. Now, he, now he's living in the North Pole. You know what I mean? That's how they do that. They, they cover the faces of the judges. Just like they cover the face of the Israelites. Now they tell you the Israelites, and we gotta call y'all African American. Uh, Saint Peter. Yeah, Saint Peter. What's that? Saint Saint Peter. Saint Peter. Saint Peter. Oh, he was taking notes. I got a preset, a quick one. Let's go with that Job and that scripture you just brought out. Where's that last one you read? Yeah, that was a good one. All right. This is that Proverbs 29 and uh, 2. I, I'll just read one also. He that being autumn reproved hardeneth his neck shall suddenly be destroyed and that without remedy. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn. So, so it says when the uh, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. Ain't nobody out here rejoicing. You know what I mean? Living in this raggedy ass city. Hey, oh. even two thirds ain't re they, they rejoice. That's that fake ass rejoicing. They they still complaining. They still ain't got shit. Nobody. Yeah. They're always talking shit. But this whole country is uh, in a in political turmoil right now. You see, you got right versus left, black versus white. Everybody fighting one and kill each other. Ain't nobody rejoicing. People want to kill each other. That's not rejoicing. Socialization. Yeah, yeah. It's always been. It's getting better though. It quite it kind of quieted down for a minute. And recently, the whole racial thing just took off. You know what I mean? But that's good though. That's a beautiful thing. That's a beautiful thing that this country is divided. I think that's beautiful. This is going to be destroyed. Hey, it's the most high's will, ain't it? They're going to say they love it. 
Love you, man. Oh, I'm not a racist. Love you, man. You're gonna be looking to kill that same motherfucker. The same motherfucker. What you got? Second edge is 11. 30. Uh, 30. 32. Put the head put. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Yeah, 32, yeah. But this head put the whole earth in fear and build rule and it over all those that dwell upon the earth. Much oppression and had the governments of the world more than all the wings that have been. Well, for the root of oppression. Is that not white man? That's, I mean, that's how this country was formed. It's, when this country was started, it was, they had the Declaration of Independence said all men were created equal. The guy who wrote it owned slaves. What kind of sense does that make? <laughs> they always be talking about the Bible contradicting itself. No, the uh, so yeah, yeah, white yeah. men contradict itself. <laughs> hey, that's a good point. <laughs> and this country ain't made no sense from the beginning. You know what I mean? And they tell you that. It, it, I always bring this up. They always, and it's funny because they always tell you Christopher Columbus discovered America, but at the same time, it's how dumb people is. They tell you the Native Americans was over here. But Christopher Columbus discovered America. And they teach all that, and you don't go for it. It's already established civilization. Well, you, yeah, actually, the Israelites came over here two, over 2,000 years ago. They've been known uh, America was over here. The reason Christopher Columbus was successful, he had a map. He knew how to get here. He was a cartographer. He was an expert of maps. And he got the maps from the Moors. When you look into it, he got the map. He came over here, and he robbed, and he stilled, and he killed. What was that movie when they like, how you know it's people over there? He's like, because I read uh yeah, he read the Ezra. Yeah, he stood. Yeah, he read Ezra in that movie, uh, 1492, uh, Paradise something. That's the thing. That's a good movie. 1492. We're trying to figure it out. Yeah, but they've been known America was here going back to ancient times. They done found uh, a Roman a Roman gladius in America, Roman coins. The Romans knew about it. The ancient Egyptians knew about it. The uh, King Solomon knew about it. He sent ships over here. You know what I mean? It was no secret America was over here. It's a big ass continent. You can't miss it. You know what I mean? So they all of a sudden act like nobody knew. Oh, we ain't know. The new world. The new world. This is as old as the rest of the world. Ah. And we get scriptures on that too. Can the scriptures tell you that Solomon had, uh, he sent out uh, them ships that was gone for two years. Went to the other side of the planet to get materials and came back. Three years. Well, yeah, three years. Yeah, that's a long journey. Why didn't it take three years to get somewhere on the ship? Yeah. So that means they was coming over here. Yes, the Tarshish. Man, they was going pack past Tarshish. Tarshish was just, that was at the mouth going into the Atlantic right there, the Straits of Gibraltar. So they, they kept a fleet right there, so they just leave from Tarshish across the Atlantic Ocean, and they went and did they do. They got uh, copper mines that would mine. They help mine the hell out these copper mines up in uh, was that Michigan, I believe, with some ancient copper mines going back two, three thousand years ago. Or you can see them big ass Omec heads. You get on Google, type in Omec head, you're gonna see big ass Canaanite looking uh, stone heads down there in uh, South uh, Central America. They wonder how the hell did these get here, you know? Huh? Fuck them, fuck them, fuck them. Hey, Proverbs 13 and 13. That used to be our favorite scripture. <laughs> Hey, that was the one, one size fit all the scripture, boy. You read that to everybody. Now I'm trying to find a scripture. Oh, what? Tarshish? What are you looking for? Yeah, that. I know it's in 2 Kings, right? Or 2 Chronicles? No, 1 Kings. First Kings, right? Come on. Damn, I got an internet. How do I do that? I'll go ahead, bring it up. 
Isaiah 14. That thou shalt take up a parable against the kingdom of Babylon and say, That's how, how have the oppressor, it's like, how have the oppressor seeds, the golden city seeds? But how will have broken the staff of the wicked and the scepter of the rulers? Who have, who, he who smoked the people in wrath with, with, with a continual stroke, he that have ruled the nations in anger and persecuted and none hindered. The whole earth is at rest and it's quiet. Oops. They break forth into singing. Yea, the fair trees rejoice at thee, and the cinders of Libyan saying, Since thou art laid down, no feathers come against thee. All right, hush like one. Second Chronicles 9, 21. Okay. Uh, that, that scripture he was uh, reading, Isaiah 14, it said, The fir trees and the cedars, they was rejoicing because no feller laid an axe upon them. So in the kingdom, even the trees is going to rejoice. When, when America gets destroyed, the trees are going to rejoice and animals are going to rejoice you know what i mean so what's the point bro? bad news what's the point of bad news there's no bad news this is good news right. this is beautiful there's this nothing good song. that destruction the missiles coming that's good news let me read the good news again that's good, that's news. good news that's all good news vision bloodshed that's all good news good news let me read the good news again it says isaiah 14 and 4 that thou take up this parable against the king of Babylon and say, how has the oppressor ceased? And really, uh, America is modern day Babylon. Babylon is a Hebrew word that means confusion. That's why people be out here babbling, all that babbling they doing out here. Well, America is known as Great Babylon, the city of great confusion. So read that again. We can't be told. They haven't. We can't be know about the scriptures though. The nuclear missiles in the scriptures. That's what these writers are saying. Uh-huh. You may not know the specific words. You don't. But in general, what goes on in the The word church comes from a Greek word ecclesia, which means actually it means a calling out. Now you can call out the building. And the English word church means circle. If all you guys want to talk, you never listen to me. That's not a conversation. Not really. If more come together, the original understanding is to congregate. Come together. A church is a building. A church is not a building. What's this called? What's that part of your head called? Temple. Oh, shit. There's your church. Yeah, right. That's the building. It's you. The, you're the but church. But the concept oh, you said building. comes together in the building. Where is Christ's church at? You guys pointing out yeah, where, where, to me. Where, where, yeah. Why am I standing here arguing? Where was Jesus? My point was, where is Jesus' church? We're all on the same page, but some everybody wants to be right about something. Well, we do want to be right. On a specific We don't want to be wrong. <laughs> yeah, but I'm talking all four of you at the same time. You're not right. giving me go a go chance. Ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. What go ahead. am I supposed to be learning from all of this? Okay, but listen, bro. Listen to this. Listen to this. Let me bring the scripture for you. First Peter Let me bring the scripture. First Go ahead, go ahead. First Peter 2 and 5. Ye also, as lively stones, are built up a spiritual house and holy priesthood 
to offer up spiritual uh, sacrifices. Yeah, so we the house. He said you gotta have a building. That's a crap. You know what Most I said about these old fools that they have no wisdom, man. You can't fill out a wine bottle with no wine. Right, there you go. He said, man, that's crazy. That's funny when they say they know all this. They know all this. Man, they just look like fools, man. There's a reason he ain't out there teaching. Right. They don't know nothing. He's full of love. Yeah. He's got it's the wicked place. And no man pursue him. Oh, you know? He had to go to scriptures about to get his ass. <laughs> <laughs> Big oh, it came up with that Mr. Rogers spirit. Acts 7 and 48. How bet the most high dwells not in temples made with hands, as said the prophet. Right, cut that guy just said we have to have a building. The most high dwells not in temples made with hands. Yeah, where's the one you call Jesus? Where is his building? Where is his church at? Scripture said go to the highway, the byways, and preach. I ain't, I ain't hear one scripture. In the whole Bible where it says somebody was at the church. Oh yeah, when he did went to the synagogues, he was cursing them out. Yeah, they was like they doing now. Taking yeah. time. Here you go. Job 12 and 20. He removeth away the speech of the trust and taketh away the understanding of the age. So an old man, these old fools, all say old, they think they can come teach you something. He just got a oh, lot. Fools, yeah, because you got a lot of. Uh, just because you old don't mean you got wisdom. I mean, some people, the older they get, the more foolishness they learn. They just accumulate more and more foolishness. Job 32 and 9. Great men are not always wise. Neither do the age understand judgment. He had no clue what we talked about. Yeah, old fool. <laughs> no, thank you. Yo, I wish I came back right now. What you gonna think he'll do for these fucking churches, man? That nigga got burnt, man. He's gonna burn. Yeah, hey, he's gonna burn the church. You think uh, so-called Christ, uh, if he come back now, what you think he's gonna be doing in these churches? You think he's gonna be shaking the pastor's hand? He's gonna, he gonna, he gonna, man, he's gonna be cutting it. Yeah. Some of these churches are beautiful, too. They took a they, they, they five stories. They got a beautiful cathedral, stained glass. They all gonna get destroyed. This is the one I wanted to read. Stupid. That's what I meant to say. Right. First Corinthians 3 and 9. But as it's written. Let's go. No, sorry. 3 and 9. I was going to say First Corinthians 3 and 9. For you are laborers together with God. You are God's husbandry. You are God's building. <laughs> yeah, we are. We're the building. You were just trying to cut me, man. That's why I got up out of here. I got to go point two. Two or three. Gathered in the building. Yeah. Cutting creepers. It's actually funny, though, ain't it? Yeah, it's actually funny. That's right. I was about to say, uh, because you were in Solomon's Temple. Look at Solomon's Temple. That was the Lord's house that they built for the the Lord. What did the Lord think about the temple at the end of it, though? What did he do to it? He, he destroyed it. He had a Babylonians come to burn the temple to the ground. This is the main temple. You know what I mean? They got the instructions on how to build it in the Bible. And the Lord said, the hell with that temple. He burned it to the ground. And then took the Israelites that was in it and put them in slavery. I'll tell you what the Lord think about a building. Matthew uh, 18 and 16. Motherfucker on edge, stuff, bold headed. What the fuck was that he had, man? Impressing bitches. That's what that why they do that shit. Where the hell did he work? Probably is. Matthew 18 and 16. But he will not hear thee, then take take with thee one or two or more that is in the mouth of two or three witnesses. Every word may be established. And if he shall neglect to hear them, tell it unto the church. But if he neglect to hear the church, let him be unto uh, thee as the heathen man. Tell it to the church, which is a body of a body of people, not a building. You go, I'm gonna go talk to this building right here. <laughs> Ding dong! They ring the bell first before you start talking to yeah. them. You know, do like them fake ass Jews looking like woodpeckers on the wall and shit. This is what I want. 18 and 20, my bad. It's if for where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. Oh, right. Oh. Yeah, three buildings side by side? <laughs> stupid. People are stupid in their wisdom. And that's why you're supposed to teach with more than one person. And, other, and it said, by your words, you'll be condemned. Here we go again. Here we go again. <laughs> that's the scripture of the day. <laughs> For real, man. For real, man. 
just marked himself. He was he was pissed. He got he was that's why he got out of here. <laughs> he like the mother is white said don't because we we, we we keeping it real, man. They not keeping it real, man. They said don't listen to us. <laughs> that's how you <laughs> Ooh, but it's it. But the scripture, that's how you know we got the truth, though, because everybody hated the uh, Israelites, the prophets back then. Man. So that's how you know who got the truth. Man. IUIC is mad that we come out here. The funny thing is that we've been out here. Way, way. Man, going back before IUIC was even known. Man, we we we, had, we was going out teaching when when the, the IUIC guys were still in elementary school or something, you know what I mean? Because they look young, don't they? Going out. Nah, we was out there before Peraza. They claim he was out there. Yeah, he always claimed. I've like, never seen you or heard about shit. <laughs> yeah, he said he go to the hood. They, 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 oh, yeah, that's yeah. what he said. He go to the hood. Yeah, they might get, uh, you make some money and feel like going out with them. Like I ran into him on Livingston, and the dude said, yeah, we just felt like coming out today, so we got a couple of brothers to come out. The dude I was talking to was actually kind of cool, though. Yeah, I'm sure some of them guys are cool. Right, but he said, yeah, we all got, we just felt like coming out, so we got a couple girls together to get out here. So they they're just admitting they, they ain't doing what the Lord said to do, man, to get out here and sign a crime. When you got money in your pocket, man, you got bitches and shit, you know, you ain't coming, you ain't thinking about, you ain't thinking about doing the Lord's work, man. You know? These fucking bugs back here, bro. The boss high going to be uh, the other brothers that follow these uh, retarded ass. I don't know what the fuck it is. Some little, some little they're trying, they're trying to hit a word. They yeah. hear that word, that word. Them yeah. spirits. They ain't bees or nothing. They trying to rejoice. Give me some space right here. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> eventually them naps and them things will turn against the world. Man. The spirit will hit them too. They gonna be going to people's eyes and nose and shit. Man. Hey, that's, that's the most high. Shit. Every time some fucked up shit happens to you from a bug, the most high did that. Yeah. That's what the noise should be the bug in the ear. God damn. That's torture. That's torture, man. You can't sleep like that. The bug flock, you be talking shit. You say some evil shit, like two seconds later, a big ass bug go right up your nostril. Now you're freaking out. I seen birds shit on people's skates. <laughs> That's some funny shit. It's shit on It's always after you did some fucked up shit too or something. You know what I mean? That was just an accident. Like my little kid, my son, I got two sons. One of them be running their mouth, disrespecting me or something. Then two seconds later, he just runs and smacks his head into something. You know what I mean? That's how it works. That's too. how the spirit works. He gets little kids too. Yeah. It gets That's you. They make you feel salty. Say, bro. You get that little proud spirit, next thing you know. And it's just uh, the Lord chastening the kids. Yeah. They said to beat your kids with a rod of, you know, beat their ass, man. So the Lord uh, uh, make them, you crack their head on the wall or something, ain't nothing, you know. Yep. But it does. It happens all the time, though. All the time. Or hey. you use open your eyes and say, Hey, by your words, you gotta watch your words. You gotta watch what you say. Yeah. The kids can be very disrespectful, man, just because they're trying to be funny. Yeah. Not knowing they're still being disrespectful. Child has its place in this world. As a child does. You know, what's the, what's the scripture in Corinthians? I can uh, recall some of that. As a child, I spoke as a child. Yeah. And as a child, I understood as a child. You know, the child don't understand nothing with grown people going through what we're going out here or whatever, man. But you understand what children do in a child's place and they understand that they're supposed to be in line, you know, respecting their elders. Because that's why these people are going to die, man. The, the youth don't respect. Elders, we even, elders, these people. Even now, these man. old ass people have got you the know, mind of children. Yeah, we are elders to the world now, man. Yep. You know. So when I became a man, I understood as a man, a man that understood that we we've been oppressed. We're oppressed. You know. How can you be a grown ass man, uh, oblivious? Like what? Literally, like you look at some people's eyes, man. They, you go, you are you there? <laughs> <laughs> knock knock. Nobody say who's there. So sleep. <laughs> You know, don't want to work. This is what men are supposed to do. Do the Lord's work. Yeah, I know. She's all right. She don't know any better. She's a dumb ass. You know what? No, what's beautiful is the only thing, the only people that are excused and not really coming out here doing work is people that there are brothers that are actually helping brothers. Yeah. Doing this work, not helping you put alcohol in the fucking mouth. You know what I mean? Stupid shit, but helping doing this work, man. And there are some bros that actually help them on this road.
got kids and help and everything. You might guys famous brothers too. Yeah. You know, like, actually helped doing the work. Like super famous people can't right. come out here. Right. Play you won't be able to ball. teach nothing. Gotta play it smart. Right. Right. You right. be a distraction. Right. You be uh, take my picture. Can I get your autograph? <laughs> you won't be able to <laughs> teach. That's it. But you know the woman, they see a nigga that's famous or a woman, they wanna fuck them all, women, women. Yeah. They, they trying to get on, man. That's the only thing on these people's minds, man. Carnal ass shit, it's a carnal ass mind with people. Their thinking, their understanding is all carnal. You got something about Yeah, yeah. It says, uh, first Griffin 14 and 20. Brethren, be not children in understanding. I be it in malice be ye children, but in understanding be men. There you go. Don't even need to break that down. It's self-explanatory, man. Be a fucking man. Come out here, do the Lord's work, simple or help out. You know? Children are at home playing with balls, bouncing balls off their heads. That's what children, young men, people of understanding, what people of no understanding are out bouncing balls around, playing video games all fucking night. You know? That's a child. You know, the average age for a video game player, I think, is like 28 or so. Yeah, it's actually going up. It's, uh, it's high as it's hell It's actually now. going up, yeah. And yeah. most of these games, they're made for grown-ass people. That's all, all these grown men do, play video games all day. I mean, there's nothing wrong playing video games. Right, because I'm 50 years old, and I still like video games. Yeah. I don't play too much of them, but I still like it. I love video games. I mean, people got their priorities all messed up. Right. They just wasting their life away. Just sitting there in that same spot that you've been sitting in. Just wasting away. Right, right. Oh, yeah, I was uh, uh, watching a YouTuber. He forgot. I guess he, uh, for like two days or something, he forgot to eat everything. Playing games? Yeah. I'm like, what the fuck? You forget to eat and go to the bathroom. It happens all the time in Korean. In South Korea, they got that, uh, this guy died playing StarCraft because he didn't eat or drink nothing for three days. Right. That really happened here. Yeah, in South Korea. It happened a couple times. Right. What, what was that scripture? Right. Right. Oh, yeah. oh, okay. First Corinthians 13 and 10. But then that which is perfect is come. Then that which is in part shall be done away. When I was a child, I spake as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. You know, children, petty is all hell, man. Get, they get punished. They go to the room and tear up their own shit. Thinking they get, you know what I'm saying? They get even with mom and dad and whoop their ass, man. I'm speaking for all this stuff. I just tear my shit. Yeah. Plus, when you're, a a plus when you're a child, you believe everything you told, too. Yeah. Very impressionable. What's that? What's that? Yeah, impressionable. Yeah. You believe anything, man. Like that 9-11 like that thing. Let's use that example, you know. Because at one point, you know, you believe, some people might believe the official story, but you come into the truth, you find out, you know, it is a conspiracy. And the conspiracy theories are real. Yeah. You find the truth and what happened now. Sinister. Yeah. Shit. Yeah, right. Because cool. children are that. The word is naive. They naive. Just like women. Yeah, just like women. Women are like grown.